Good Wednesday afternoon, Western Montana. I'm AJ Mazzolini, and this is the 406, brought to you by Missoula Nissan Hyundai. Trending today on Twitter, election 2014, which in Montana saw victories for Steve Daines, Ryan Zinke, and Supreme Court Justices Wheat and Rice. In Tuesday's election, Republicans easily held their majorities for the 2015 Montana Legislature, maintaining a 29 to 21 margin in the State Senate and carving out a 59 to 41 majority in the House. State Democrats felt they had a good chance to narrow the margin in the Senate, or even tie it. But Republicans managed to hold on to all but one of several key seats, losing an open Helena district that had been held by a retiring Republican. However, they also scored an upset and picked up a seat in Great Falls. The woman who claimed she was gang raped by four University of Montana football players in 2010 criticized the Missoula Police Department and the Missoula County Attorney's Office for their handling of the case on a 60-minute sports interview that aired last night. Broadcast to a national audience on Showtime, the report also con contended that former UM head football coach Robin Flugrad knew about the alleged gang rape but failed to inform school officials. Those officials wouldn't learn of the alleged rape for a year. Yellowstone National Park is seeking public input on a proposal to increase the park's entrance fees for the first time since 2006. Visitors now pay $25 for a seven-day pass for a single, non-commercial vehicle entry into both Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks. The park is proposing to offer a three-day Yellowstone-only pass for $30. A seven-day pass good for both Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks would also be available for $50. A 26-year-old St. Ignatius man today denied charges filed in the shooting death of a three-year-old boy at a residence near Nine Pipes. Gallen Hawk pleaded not guilty to negligent homicide for the October 22nd death of Lenato Moran Allen. The trial is set for March 2nd and Hawk remains jailed with bail set at $100,000. Northwestern Corp announced today that it has set a $51.50 per share price for nearly 6.77 million shares of stock being sold to help finance the purchase of 11 hydroelectric dams in Montana. The underwriters will purchase the stock to sell to their customers, and they also have the option to purchase up to another 1 million shares, depending on demand. Thanks for checking out the 406 with us today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let us know what you think about our new broadcast in the comments section below. Have a great evening. We've made it easy to shop for your next vehicle. MissoulaNissan.com you're already shopping from your smartphone, office, or living room. Make your own deal your way right now at MissoulaNissan.com.